Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PCGO Battle Styles video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Single Strike Tyranitar here. This card is really cool and strong when combined with the brand new Houndoom and Single Strike Energy. So, for the video, I want to see if we can reach a like goal of 200 likes again. Y'all have been killing it with the likes on the videos recently, and uh, it's just been really motivating. It's been helping the channel out a lot also. Um, so, if you guys go on to enjoy the video slap like on it and see if we can hit that like goal so let's look at the list here now single strike tarantar has some good benefits over single strike urshifu of course it doesn't do as much damage but it is a basic um it's a dark type gives up two prizes so there are some benefits that outweigh it um the fact that tarantar is a dark type is really nice dragapult actually just one hexter and dragapult is looking really good in the meta right now um because it counters the urshifus and mewtwo pretty well so if dragapult starts getting popular we have Tyrantar here to just go Kragalanch and Single Strike Crush. So it might be pretty good. Um, it doesn't do, again, not as much damage, but it can still get the job done, and it is a basic Pokemon. And Kragalanch can be pretty disruptive, too, at discarding two cards. So for the video, guys, Crush out to the sponsor, Karkhaven TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO codes, get them over at Karkhaven. Karkhaven sells codes online for the cheapest. If you guys are looking to pick up any Battle Styles code still, or you want to get any other set code like vivid voltage or shining fates or dark supplies get them over at card cabin if you do get any codes over at card cabin at the checkout make sure you use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase help the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin too uh, also there is a new article system over on card cabin um instead of doing written up articles which took very long to get done and everything like that due to behind the scenes stuff that happens um Basically, it's now in video form. So it's basically just me kind of reading off an article in the form of a video. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that idea. Um, I, I also might start adding in the articles in the description. So if you guys don't want to watch and listen to the video, which you can have playing in the background while you're doing something, instead you guys can, you know, read off the article, which I can put in the description of the video. So if you guys want that, uh, let me know. So yeah, let's look at the list. So this one to rock with here. Um, was it the perfect list for the video? I don't know. I kind of forgot to put a Mew in the deck, not going to lie. I already recorded the video. Definitely put a Mew in here. Um, but yeah, Tyranitar is a really cool card. Um, it can do a lot of damage. Hits really hard. Of course, Single Strike Energy allows you to make it do 20 more damage. You can turn this attack from 240 into 280. And it's a basic, so it's just a little quick ball. Now, I'm only playing 15 Pokemon, so I'm actually going to be playing Great Ball over Pokecom. But I'm also playing Capture Energy. Uh, the nice thing about Tyranitar is it does have Dark Energy in its attack cost. And we do play Basic Darts. But we actually can use Single Strike Energy for Tyranitar's attack cost because Single Strike Energy actually does provide um, a Dark Energy. So that's pretty beneficial. Of course, we get it back with the Urn of Vitality here to put the two Single Strikes back in the deck. We use Houndoom here with Single Strike Roar. Once you're in turn, you may search up search your deck for up to... Uh, a single strike energy and put it onto one of your single strike Pokemon, not up to two, just one. I don't know why I said that. Um, but you have to put two damage counters on them, which is I, not ideal. Tyranitar does have 230 HP. I am playing Cape in here to give it 280 HP in total. So most of the time we'll have, what, 240, 250 HP remaining, something like that. We're, we're going to have a couple damage counters on us, but we're still going to be a very tanky card um, at the end of the day. Then I got Crobat and Dedenne, uh pretty much for that. Um, yeah, I think I just want to put Immune here and that's about it. Um, so going into the rest of the deck, we got Evo Incense, Great Ball. Again, 15 Pokemon, Pokecom with 15 Pokemon, in my opinion, is not a very good combo. Trust me. Um, a lot of the time, your Pokecoms won't be doing anything. So honestly, Great Ball is just better to find base uh, Pokemon in here and basics. And we got Evo Incense to find your Houndooms. Because um, Houndoom is very important in here. You want to get Houndooms in play. In fact, you want to get multiple Houndooms in play. We have Quick Ball, Great Ball, Capture Energy to find Hound Dowers. Um, Got two RNA Rod and Palpat. Now, you might be wondering why these are in the deck. And the reason for that is because when we are up against Pokemon with a lot of HP and we need to one-shot them with our attack Single Strike Crush, which can kind of go through tag teams, uh, we might end up Single Strike Crushing at Supporters and Energy and especially stuff like Houndooms, which are stuff we don't want to lose because Single Strike Crush discards the top four cards of your deck, which is pretty de detrimental sometimes. So we need some ways to get your stuff back. Kind of kind of just treat this like Excadrill in a way. Um Right, kind of treat this like an Excadrill deck. So that's why I am playing the Palpad and Rod to get your stuff back. Uh, got two Air Balloon. You can maybe try to fit in a couple extra switching cards too. Maybe you can play a couple Escape Rope. Maybe play a couple Switch. Play a third Air Balloon. Air Balloon works with Houndoom, which is why I have it. But you can definitely play a couple more Air Balloons if you want. Definitely I would maybe consider a few more Switch Outs. Um, then got Captures, Single Strike, Dark Energy. You can go to four Captures instead of three if you want. Um, cut a Dark for a Capture. It's not a bad idea either. Um... But yeah, let's go show the deck off. See if we can take some decks down and see how good Tyranitar really is. All right, here we go. Let's get into our first game with Single Strike Tyranitar here. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know my boy Tyranitar is a fan favorite Pokemon. 
So I am looking forward to seeing how this goes. We'll see if we're able to win a game with it. That's the thing about standard format right now. All right, let's see. Um, ooh, we got a Hound Dower start. Not what we were looking for. Uh, I guess Houndoom can attack with Darkness Fang for 50, maybe 70 with the single strike. How much does Houndoom have? Two? Oh, boy. I think we have the research next turn, so we'll put that on and pass. Pray we don't get donked. I can't do anything. Our start was pretty terrible. And they probably just donk my Hound Hour here if we're unlucky. If not, we could attack with Darkness Fang. Um, I don't know. Sinlin, all right. They're not knocking me out this turn, which is good. I thought they were going to have just like a Welder and Aurora or something. This makes me wonder what they're playing. Are they playing? Oh, they're playing Weavile. Yeah, I think they're playing a Weavile with like Cheryl. Hmm. That could be kind of tough, not going to lie. Okay, nice. They don't have anything, actually. All right, so their start was pretty bad, too. Our start's not really doing much, either. They're not threatening me, so I think we can just evolve into Houndoom here. We'll Marnie them now, because they probably got a support off that Sinlin, so we'll hit them with a the Marnie now. Like, I got to assume they have, like, a good card in their hand that can get them cards. Um, so let's we'll play the Marnie. We will attack with Houndoom here. Uh, we'll Great Ball for... Uh, perfect, another Hound Tower. Like Crobat, see if we can maybe get T-Tar. Oh my goodness, Marnie, 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 Marnie. What would I ever do without you? And shuffle the deck, I guess. And then Darkness Fang for 70 damage, which, you know what, sets it up to be KO'd, um, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. This hand is so bad, bro. Okay, well, good thing we can shuffle the deck with Single Strike Roar every turn. Because we're probably at the Marnie here, because I don't really want to research away all these supporters. Literally, if we research, we will have no Marnie left in the deck. I just, I don't, I don't understand PDC Joe draw sometimes, guys. I really don't. We'll see what they get here. We'll see what they get. Okay, yeah, they get a Crobat. They could Dark Moomy this turn if they want. Um, is that ever relevant? Not really. If they had energy in play last turn, Dark Moomy me this turn would have been actually pretty annoying, uh, especially because we didn't get like a T-Tar setup ready to go. I do want to do Craigalanche at some point. So, yeah, I wonder if they're going to Dark Moon me. Oh, they could. Oh, they can Red and Blue Dark Moon and knock me out. That's actually a pretty. Yeah, they, they're simply in Sinlin. They can do that, actually. Okay, they don't do that, which is good. There's the Tyranitar, which means do this. Get the Marnie again. Can't really afford to research here. And, all right. Another Hound Hour. We got Tower of Darkness 2. So we'll play the Capture Energy. We'll get another Hound Hour in play. We'll play the Tower of Darkness. Discard this. Draw some cards. We got a Quick Ball. We're not attacking this turn. Well, no. We can attack. We can attack. We can go... We would need another Hound Doom this turn. Because we benched this Hound Hour last turn. If we hit another... Thing... Okay. Uh, I could Dedenne, which probably gives me the best odds of getting what I'm looking for. I still have Palpat in another boss. But, like, if I Dedenne, they get to do Black Lands to it, which is kind of awkward. That's why I'm, like, skeptical of whether or not I actually think it's good. But, Dedenne does give us the better odds of finding the Houndoom here. And if we get the Houndoom, we can start attacking with Craigalanche. We can start discarding cards from the top of their deck. We can start applying pressure. They go into the Darkrai. We can knock it out with Single Strike Crush next turn. So I do think I want to go to Dene here. So we're just going to go for it. I need to just get the best odds I can. I don't trust four cards. I don't trust four cards. I can't even trust six cards, bro. What? We still whiff it? Oh, my goodness. All right. Got the hit for 70 damage. That's a shame. That is a shame. Well, we can knock out the Milotic next turn. That is not good. Especially if they have the red and blue here. That sucks, man. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. It's a pretty awkward hand, too. I'm not really trying to discard these rods. Oh, I'm kind of hoping they just knock me out this turn. Weird as that might sound, I kind of want it, because then I can at least make use of an ordinary rod. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate. Just not finding what we were looking for. We can attack him next turn, though, so. Is all good. We have the attack for next turn, at least. Could hold the hand, too, to be honest, which I might do. We'll see what they got. Can, actually, can Tyrant Tower, we can knock him out of my low tick. My low tick does 160 damage to me. Oh, they don't have anything. Okay, so we can just go here. We can single strike roar. Really hate to hard retreat, but that's fine. We can always use the urn, so it's all good. Uh, we could tower and then rod. I don't think we have to do that because we are just going to take a big knockout here. Single strike rush for a ton of damage. 300 damage. <laughs> and all right, we don't really get rid of anything too important there. We did lose. I guess we lost all of our boss. We have pal pat in our hand though. That's all good. We get a bunch of prizes. We're in a pretty good spot right now. I can't imagine they're going to be able to knock me out this turn. We can do 100 and... Okay. Even if they attack with my low tick, they would need an Aurora, which now they don't have because they attach to Weavile. I guess they can still... like They can still do red and blue, I guess. Oh, they can go nine tails. Okay. Uh, we currently are out of boss. So there's no way we can knock this out this turn. Hmm. That's fine. We're in a pretty good spot right now. We just, we have the ability to maybe put three Houndoom in play next turn, which means we can probably go for like a knockout again with single strike crush on this thing, even if it attacks me. So I think we're fine, right? I think we're fine. I think we're still in the position to win this. Now, oh, maybe Tyrantar has relevance right now in the meta because of Dragapult's popularity, right? Okay, nice. So actually, let me Craig Lance them, um, which is good. You can put the cape on. That would give us 250 HP. It still gives us 240. So we still get knocked out by flamethrower. Or thing. They could stamp me, I guess. We should probably just play cards from our hand down here. In case of a reset stamp. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can rod. Yeah, we'll play the rod. Not going to put it back. Not going to put back on tower. We don't really need it. I'm going to just thin the deck out a little bit, and then we're just going to go Craigalanche here. We're going to be able to knock out the Milotic with Craigalanche. We can discard two cards. We get rid of an Aurora. No. What do we get rid of there? I can't see. The prizes are in my way. What do we get? What was it? It was a Calm and a Tag Call. That's not bad. Now they can't take off for red and blue. So they need the Aurora Energy here to knock me out. And they knock me out. Um, There it is. Okay, they do have it. So they'll KO me here with, uh, with, but they have to discard their own top four cards. So they kind of have to pay off, but they hit me here. We just bring in Crobat, drop the Tyranitar, um, play the Vitalities. As long as we keep our hand here, we're pretty much guaranteed to win this game, most likely. Um, well, also we just, need, we need to not with Houndoom too. But yeah, we just need to keep, we need to keep our hand here to win the game. We just need to keep our hand to win this. Um, we'll see if it happens. I guess one other win con we have, if maybe we can like take a knockout with Houndoom or something. And okay, never mind. They're gonna run blue. They have to go to Weavile here. Okay. Well, yeah, never mind. Because we can't knock out and type null with Houndoom. Well, okay. 70, 90, 110. Well, Houndoom could attack. We're always just gonna go T Tar here. So it doesn't really matter what happens. They do have five energy in play. It'd be kind of worrisome if they were able to get a. A knockout with Umbreon Darkrai. That would be pretty bad, but they can't do that, so. So they'll be able to knock me out here. And as long as we keep our hand, we will win the game. I maybe should have played the Pal Pad, to be honest with you, just to put back those Marnies in case of a reset stamp. I definitely could have maybe sequenced this a little bit better. Yeah, but I, every card in my hand is kind of important, right? Like, like they could play Counter Stadium. Okay, there we go. So all we have to do is just find two Houndooms here to win the game. Nice. They lose a bunch of energy. Love to see it. All right. We can win this. They all... I guess now they can't do, like, Umbreon Dark, right? They're completely bench locked. So I think we're okay. Um, there's... All right. There's Houndoom right off the gate. All right. We'll bench this. Play this. Do this again. Get all the energy back. Whew, a lot of sequencing needs to be done here, folks. A lot of sequencing. So... Play the Ordinary Rod. What are we putting back? We'll put back... We'll put back Hound Dower. I'm not going to put the T-Tar back. We have another one in the deck. Um, I could have retreated and played that, actually. Yeah, it's fine. We'll Quick Ball. 
or this. We'll play this. That ain't it, Chief. Grab this. Let the thin out one card. Do the Hound Doom now. I guess, like, if we ever got a cape on, they could ever one shot me. Really now. We can Pal Pad. That clunks the deck up, though. Because literally all we need is an energy and a Hound Doom here to win the game. So if we play the Pal Pad now, uh, we clunk the deck up. I think we just research and hope for the best. So we just need to take one prize. We don't even really need boss anymore, to be honest. Oh no, we drew the. Oh my god, no way. We drew the two energy, and now we can't attach to Tyranitar. Bruh. No way. Oh my. Dude, no way. Now I wish I played Palpad, but I didn't expect to actually. Dang it. That's so unfortunate. Oh man. That's fine. We can just hope they don't have a boss. Honestly, we should probably just do Craigalanch now for... But then we get knocked out. Well, the only way they can currently KO me is with Tyranitar. Right? Probably with Ninetales. So we hit the Ninetales. How much are we doing here with uh, Craigalanch, actually? 60, 80. We can hit it for 80, 100. We can do 120 damage. Then we can finish off with Crobat. Now I wish I played the Pal Pad, but it, the, nothing can knock out Tyranitar though on their board. It has to be Nine Tails, so I think that's fine. Yeah. No, but we can't go Crobat. Maybe we should just wait a turn. They haven't played a boss yet. They have one boss in the discard. Ugh, that was so unfortunate. We don't even. Uh, we could go. We can still go Marnie. Like, we can maybe still draw Marnie next turn, and I guess, like, Hound Doom can finish him off. We have the other single strike energy in the deck. Hound Doom can do 70. No, but that's not even enough, right? Because we're only doing 120 here. Hound Doom doing 70 damage. How many urns do we have left? Well, technically, we have one left, I guess. Let's play this. Yeah, we still have an urn left, so I guess we can still get the single strike energy back. So technically, a Houndoom could still win, but we, we need a supporter. We could also just hope they don't boss. If they boss me here, we lose, probably. Right? I think we just attack them and try to finish them off with Houndoom next turn if we can. I think that has to be the play. Oh, maybe they didn't have the boss because we just got rid of it there. But I don't know. I think it, I just didn't want to take a chance because if they boss my Terran and knock it out with Nightshade, we literally lose the game. I guess, like... Yeah, we just that's so unfortunate. Literally, we just had to not draw the rat the single strike energy to have a shot of winning this game, and we drew both. See, maybe if I played maybe if I did play the uh pal pad there, we wouldn't have drawn into it. I don't know. It's fine. Like they still have to go nine tails. We can still win. We just have to go. We have to mar oh no, we just need to find urn, right? Because we can go attach urn. Yeah, we just need to find the urn here. This was a very close game. This game went a lot closer than I, than I thought it would be. Again, we had the opportunity to win, but we got a little unlucky by drawing the single strike energy there. Um, so now our win con has to be with Houndoom. Well, I guess we can win with Tyrantar. We'd have to draw a supporter, though. I think we have to just try to win here with Houndoom. But yeah, they have to attack me with Ninetales, so they have to risk getting... Okay, that's fine. We just need to not whiff our Urn of Vitality here to win. They have six cards left. We can't ever deck them out. If we had a Curse Shovel, maybe we could have made something work, but that's not really going to matter. So we just have to find the our urn to win the game. We'll see. All right, PDC Geo. Give me the urn. Four cards. Research. No, that's game, right? We're drawing our whole deck here. That's game, right? So we go research. We got him. We got him. Research. For the urn, very last card in the deck too. Jeez, talk about tight, tight spots. We'll go Hound Doom. Yeah, Urn of Vitality, insanely good card, insanely good card. And Darkness Fang for the win. GG's to my opponent. Very close match. That Nine Tails is actually pretty clutch. Again, we got really unlucky there. We could have won a turn earlier, but you know what? Thanks to Urn of Vitality and Tower of Darkness. Tower of Darkness pulled its weight too.
because the you guys saw that the urn was like the last card in the deck there when we played that research so if we didn't play the tower there we actually would have whipped the urn of vitality we wouldn't have lost we would have been in a lot of trouble but we do have um no that's 600 coins in mind i thought that was the packs now 600 coins i'll take it though i am trying to get to 10,000 coins so i can open up uh 50 plus plasma freeze packs for a future video all right, here we go let's try another game with tyrantar and we've lost the coin flip all right we do usually want to go first but we'll see if we can get a good start like my pulling opponent is still going to go first though we open with hound hour we have my boy at um we'll see what happens here what are we up against Ooh, crushing hammer okay i think we're playing against galarian cursula hmm is that what that is galarian cursula yeah okay we can beat this um we can bypass the energy removal with houndoom i don't actually think single strike roar affects with the ability because it's from your hand right from an energy from their hand yeah so we can bypass it Unfortunately, our start is not that good i think we're gonna have to do this i'm gonna get rid of the single energy okay never mind we didn't get tarantar um so they could do 60 we can put the cape on get this 80 hp we have to cape the cape the hound hour here to survive a turn because we are dead drawing so we're gonna marnie we can attack them at least get some damage on them all right there we go we got a tyranitar i don't know if how dower is gonna live the turn though it's the only problem they might have a goon but we'll see we might not be able to get a tyranitar off right away but tyranitar is very bulky here so it's not really a big deal i'm gonna hold the cape in case they play tool scrap but we're just gonna get him for 40 we just kind of just go craig lanch this game so we can mill some good cards how dower lifts a turn we can retreat it maybe get houndoom go from there but yeah i got rid of the single strike energy with the tower there because we have four urns of vitality so it's not a big deal and we're just gonna go with our first attack right we just want to do craig lanch they're weak to dark yeah so no knockout for my opponent which is good we'll see what our top deck is robat it's not bad capture energy for another hound dower tarantar is pretty bulky we should be okay we can play crowbat uh, i'm just gonna research though not really looking for any like thing huge yeah we're not attacking this turn anyways with tyrantar let's see if we get a houndoom we do we have to evolve the active here we're gonna have to let tyrantar take a hit which is fine we have to, we have to get this houndoom into a hound tower so we can do we could do the attack here or not the attack we could do single strike roar i'm gonna bench the tyrantar hmm actually hmm I might, well, they play Crushing Hammer, so I don't really want to do Single Strike Roar just yet. Actually, no, I think we do. I think we want to try to just get the energy on it now while we still can. Because they could, like, Yogg Runner or something and hammer the energy off. We'll be a turn behind. I want to bench their Tyranitar because maybe they'll attack it instead of the Houndoom. Because Houndoom actually only has thir or 40 HP left, so it can get KO'd. There's a Hammer. Night Tails, you love to see it. They can get Arc Dissolved here. But we are going to one-shot, right? It's like This should be a pretty straightforward matchup. Um, Tyranitar has 230 HP, 280 HP with the cape. It's pretty hard for them to go through all three. Oh, they are going to knock out my Houndoom, though. Okay, but they don't ruin my energy, which which is good. So we can rod the Houndoom back. It's all Gucci. Okay, that's fine. They actually... Okay, they target my Hound Hour. So we actually have to turn that into a Houndoom this turn. Okay, fair play. What do we top deck? Perfect draw. Absolutely perfect. I'll uh, just research. I'm gonna I'm gonna do single strike roar last. Okay, we didn't get a. Uh, I was hoping we could maybe get a uh, an energy there, but we'll set the single strike to the tyrantar. That's fine. Get the energy back. Put that on. Uh, we'll get rid of the tyrantar here, and we'll bench the hound hour. Do we play the rod? Yeah, we do. Go Hound Doer. Don't really need the Tyrantar. We should be able to win with just two. Not a big deal. We just retreat. Yeah. Regalanche. Discarding the top two cards. We'll see what we get rid of here. Some Energy and Crushing Hammer. We get rid of an Evo Incense and another Cursula is what it looks like it got there. Which is fine. They still have Crushing Hammer, which is a concern. So we just got to watch out for that. But again, we have four Urns of Vitality. So it's like... It's okay. And if, if we get, like, at least two or three Houndooms in play, yeah, they just concede. So, pretty straightforward dub there. Dragon Lanch would have been pretty cool to just spam and mill some important cards. All right, here we go. Let's get into another match. 
lost the coin flip. Once again, we want to be going first this deck, so maybe my opponent will let me go first. No, no, no. No chance. No chance. And we open to Dene. We do have a pretty good hand, though, at least. We have quite a bit of uh, Pokemon search cards. Technically, we can get three basics down uh, if we play it right. To land it... Nah, are they playing the needy hand deck here? Is that what we're playing against? They got a Leon. Oh! They're playing Weeping Bell. Hmm. Okay, interesting. We'll play the Great Ball first. There we go. We got the Tyrantar. It's what I wanted. We'll capture G for Hound Dower. Can we beat this? I don't know if we can. Ooh, we prized two of our Hound Dowers. That's not good. Uh, I'm just going to pass. Yeah. We have the Craigalanche, so I'm just going to pass. We can go to 280 HP here. Um, I think the most they could do is... I think I do 270 with the Burn and Poison. I don't think we can ever have Tyranitar Sponge a hit. We are weak to Grass, but I don't think they're ever attacking with Weeping Bell, so... We just gotta get lucky with Craigalanche. Maybe we can rip some good Craigalanches. They could run out of energy. And alright, just like that, they do lose two Marnies and a boss. Which is some good stuff. Okay, they have no shortage of Salandage. They just rip two right off the bat. Okay, insane. Hmm. Don't know if I want to Marnie them now. They didn't do much. Okay, now we're definitely not going to go Marnie. We can go Attach. Quick Ball for Crobat. We just need to move to Dene this turn. We just need to rip an Air Balloon here. So I can move at the Dene. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Tyranitar is never going to sponge a hit. Unless we get super lucky. So with Crobat. Didn't get Air Balloon. We did, however, get another Houndoom, which is good. Tower of Darkness. Um, bench Tyranitar. Put the energy on the other Tyranitar. Because, again, we're never going to be using Single Strike Crush in this matchup. No research. We just got to find Air Balloon. There we go. We got it. We can retreat. We can play the Tower here. Get rid of the Houndoom. Sure. Got to get more cards to work with. There's a Cape. So, we put the Cape on. We'll have 260 HP... Doesn't really make a difference. We'll play it anyways, because you never know. You never know, right? So we'll just hit them. See if we can mill some energy here. No, we do hit... I think I saw two Bell Sprouts got discarded. No, we hit a Weeping Bell. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we hit Weeping Bell and Bell Sprout. Okay, I'm going to keep my opponent's deck list out of stack mode so I can see what we mill. Okay, they did have a research in their hand, but they lose two scoop up nets. All right, not bad. We'll see if they can take up my Tyranitar this turn. They need a lot. They need they need to confuse me. They need to weeping bell and they need to get a sol they need Salazzle, energy weeping bell yellhorn I think to knock me out. Oh, maybe they no, no they do need it. Yeah, yeah. They they can't they can't do double special condition. Okay. I'm going to palp pad the Marnie back. Maybe we can like Marnie and then like put the weeping bells back in the deck and then mill them at some point. Mainly I want Craigalanche to get rid of uh I want to just get rid of weeping bells. Ooh, they do hit a crowbat. If they get a Yellhorn here and a Salazzle, which they do get the Salazzle, do they have a Yellhorn, though? Do they have the... They do not. All right, so they do 180. Yes, yeah, so we don't get knocked out. Do we stay burned? Hopefully we don't. We do. Okay. That's not a big deal, I guess. So we can hard retreat and knock out the Bellsprout here with a boss. Tempted to do that, not gonna lie. All right, let's play this first. Game really likes me boss. So we can just knock out the Salazzle here. Um, we have... Whoa, what the heck? That was weird. We have 50 HP. So we're not gonna get knocked out going to their turn. So that's fine. So I think we'll stay in the active. We could just deny them the prize and retreat another Tower and Tower, but this guy's already going to be heavily damaged. Like, it wouldn't make a difference. I think we just stay burned here and just knock them out. Like, I'm fine with this. We'll do this first. We could actually just knock out the Bell Sprout, though, so they don't have another Weeping Bell. They're already down. They're down one Bell Sprout, so we can boss here, knock out the Bell Sprout. Oh, they can see the match. All right. I, I think I was going to boss the Bell Sprout there. Yeah, I was fine with that. All right, here we go. Let's get into another match. 
We've won the coin flip, which is good. We'll see what we're playing against here. Will it be ADP or not? They have a dark coin and deck box, so something tells me it might not be an ADP deck. All right. Not a bad start. We'll see here what they are playing. What do they got? Is it E-turn? Ooh, it's another single strike deck. Okay. Look at the Tyranitar. Hit him with you. You have a good deck. Capture G. Another Hound Hour. Cape. Hmm. My way to turn. No, I want to get the Hound Hour. I don't want to give him the Tower though, so we'll hold it and we'll just go for the Crobat. Nice. All right, cool. I probably should have put the Tower in play there, maybe in case we get Marnie. Should be okay though. We should be okay. Should be okay. We need to find Air Balloon. We didn't really get that great of a hand off of that Crobat. I might have to get rid of the Urn of Vitaly here so we can try to get a uh, a Switch card or something. We can all, I mean, we can hard retreat, actually, if things go well enough. Should be able to hard retreat. Um, we'll see. Oh, it's a Mirror Match. Yo, the Tyranitar Mirror Match. Oh, boy. Interesting that they actually opt for another Hound Tower there. So how do we beat this? The Cape doesn't really give us much advantage in this matchup because, yeah, the Cape's not going to do much for us. Hmm. We have a pretty good setup. They got the triple Hound Hour. We can knock him out with Hound Doom here. We can, yeah, we can kill them with Hound Doom, I guess. Oh, they're playing hammers though. No, and they hit heads. Dang it, bro, the crushing hammer. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a research. Ooh, crushing hammer. I'm gonna. I might. We can bite the Tyranitar. That doesn't really do us much. We can knock up the Hound Dower here with our own bite. And then next we can Vitaly all the stuff back. I don't know, man. That crushing hammer really sucks, not gonna lie. Um, bite, knock out the Hound Dower, hold the hand. But then we only have one Hound Doom, so it's not really a good idea. I think we just do this. Hmm. Maybe just wait a turn. We can still bite them. There's never, there's nothing wrong with hitting them here for 40. Or we can just actually just build up the Tyranitar on the bench. Yeah, let's put the energy in the Tyranitar, I guess. That's fine. The next turn, we can just retreat. I don't think it matters what we did there. We'll see if they get the first boss on me. That's what I'm worried about, is they can boss knock me out here. If they have enough cards, they could go Hound Doom, Hound Doom, energy attach, boss. Well, they need so much now. It's not going to happen, actually. It's very unlikely they get a boss here. There's a hammer. They do get tails, which is good. Yeah, not sure I really like the idea of playing Hammer with this card. I don't really think you need to play Crushing Hammer in this deck. You know, it doesn't really... I can't imagine where the Hammer would be useful. They have another one. Another Tails. Love to see it. Yeah, Crushing Hammer. I don't know if Crushing Hammer is any good anymore, to be honest, guys. Like, maybe if, like, it could be Dragapult, I guess. I don't know. Let's we'll see what they got, though. They don't have an attack. All right, what do we draw? Earn. All right, so what we can do here is we can go... Hmm, do we have... I can't remember if we actually have the other... If we have the other fighting in the... Or the, the fighting, the uh, single strike in the deck. I know we don't. I do remember it's actually prized. Yeah, it is prized. We can go discard. Bench. Earn. Yeah, we prized for the single strike energy. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, no, we didn't. Hmm. I guess I thought wrong. Okay. Hmm. So we need to, if we can hit an air balloon off a of today change, we can knock out their Tyranitar first. We can also boss it here with Craigalanch and hit it for a lot of damage. We can two shot it with Craigalanch. We can knock out their Houndoom. No, we can't, right? We're only doing 120. We have the boss next turn, so we might as well just hold the hand. Well, they might have a boss too, but they have a we have a bigger hand than they do, and they have a small hand. I think it's worth the risk. Yeah, I'll pass. I think it's worth the risk. Yeah, I thought we prized our other single strike. I guess I was wrong. No, there's the cape. We could have went for the Craigalanch, I guess. I, I, I don't hate that. I don't know. We'll see if they have another... They find their last hammer here. That could be pretty devastating. All right, we see a single strike roar to the Hound, to the uh, Tyranitar. They're going to spread the energy out, which is smart. You have another Hound Doom. That's two Hound Dooms down so far. That's pretty good. And there's a Juniper. So no boss this turn. They didn't have a boss in their hand. They had a dangerous drill. 
We didn't have the energy to play it. Okay. Ooh, they got the double cape. Okay, we're going to boss the Tyranitar here. Oh, they're going to go for the Kragalanch, it looks like. Yeah, okay, they're going for Kragalanch. Do they have their last crushing hammer, maybe? They found another Houndoom. Ooh, that's scary. All right, let's see what they get rid of here. Cape research? Not, not a big deal. We don't really need the cape in this matchup. It doesn't, like, do us much. Um... Oh, another Houndoom. A little too late. We'll play this, though. Great ball. Can this get us a Hound Hour? It does. You love to see it. So the other energy's in our hand. We can't accelerate to the Tyranitar here, which is a little unfortunate. But that's fine. Just go for the Single Strike Crush. Knock out their Tyranitar for 300 damage. And what do we mill here? Ooh, we lose an Ornate Rod. That's not good. There's Houndoom. Beautiful prize. Another Tyranitar is pretty good, too. All right, we'll see who runs out of Tyranitar first. That's what this will come down to. All right. So they do have a knockout, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, they, so they still have another single in the deck, unless it's prized. Yeah, unless they prize their single strike energy, it should be in the deck. It should be in the deck. It's a shame we drew this because we need to build up Tyranitar. Oh, is it prized? Yo, did they prize it? Okay, no, they can still get Urn of Vitaly. Never mind. Maybe they forgot to. Ah, oh, so close, so close. I actually thought we were going to live there. We're in a pretty bad spot right now. We can't knock them out next turn. We cannot knock them out because we can only get three energy on Tyranitar. Ooh, they lose another urn. They have eight cards left, actually. Hmm. Could deck them out. So, how? what have they played so far? They've played one switch. I'm kind of tempted to boss their Houndoom and make them burn a switch. Because they have eight cards left. So, they knock out Tyranitar here. They'll have... We can't deck them out, though, I don't think. We can do double Kragalanch, I guess. That could work. I guess we could maybe go for the deck out play. How many energy? So we got, yeah. We can maybe try to go for the deck out. I don't honestly don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind trying to deck them out here. With Kragalanch. I don't hate this. They, they have eight cards left, right? So... We could even, we can even take a prize this turn. Does it ever matter? We could, um, we can't knock out Houndoom. We're only doing 60, discard the type of cards of your deck. 80, 100, 120, Houndoom has 130 HP. Could boss the Houndoom. Not sure that's necessary. I think we just research and just discard and draw cards. I think we're just going to try to deck him out here. Uh, 190 HP, Craig Lanch. We can put the cape on something. Put that there, I guess, sure. Is that our urn? How many urns do we have left? One? Okay, we'll save the urn. Um, Tower of Darkness, we are Tower of Darkness. Okay. Kind of want to play this quick ball, but I think we save it. Yeah, we're going to try to deck him out. Let's Craig Lanch. They have to use their big attack to KO me here. Uh, they still have uh they still have a couple Marnies, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'm thinking, maybe I don't know. We we'll see. This is gonna be a very close game though, guys. This is gonna be a very, very close match. Yep, there's the Marnie. Yeah. How many cards will they have? Twelve in the deck? Seven? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can mill them. Well, I guess we can find a boss maybe we can try to trap something because again they have to discard four cards here yeah they just lost two switch outs so oh our hand's bad that we can't detonate our crowbat we're also out of single strike energy hmm i think we're just gonna fall short here guys oh there's the boss hmm 
Do I play the rod? Because we do want the Dedenne in the deck. But I don't want to clunk the deck up. We could just put we could just put the Dedenne back with the rod, I guess. Sure. This gives us one more out. Capture doesn't really do anything. So we're in, we need our bench bot open. Don't hope this Tower Darkness comes in clutch. Gets us a Crobat. All right. We still need the Urn of Vitaly. We still have two left. Hmm. We could boss the Houndoom and hope they can't switch it. We could Marnie them. I don't think Marnie matters. They probably have another Marnie left, though. I think we just got it. Maybe, maybe they don't have a switch. Let's boss Houndoom. Do Crobat. Can we get the urn? We do not get the urn. All right. I think that's game over. Yeah, we didn't get the urn of Vitaly. Nothing I can do. We can't go into anything. So I think it's game over, guys. We'll see. Yeah, I think it's game over. We had our two urns in the deck. We just weren't able to find them. We'll see. If they don't... And they might not be able to move here. They have two cards left. If, literally, if they don't move this Houndoom, we might win the game. Research. Oh, that means our last two cards are a switch. Is this going to be game, guys? Or are we going to win by deck out? Oh, is that... Did we just win? Did, did we actually get him? Did they run out of switch? Yo. <gasps> Let's go! The mill strategy worked! Let's freaking go! GG's to my opponent. GG's. Yeah, the mill strategy ended up working out in the end, guys, as I tried to go for there. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Tyranitar single strike deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, I'm gonna be... I'm probably gonna be doing more light goals in my videos now. Um, basically, uh, the light goals make the video perform better. And also I notice more positive comments when I do the like goals and positive comments are really good. Like I read all the comments. You guys know I read the comments. I reply to most of my comments every time, every day, every video. That'll be it for the single strike Tyranitar deck. Um, any changes I would make to it uh, would probably be to, I, I guess we could go down to one. We can go down to one Tyranitar, but I, I like starting with Tyranitar um, over Hound Dower because like you start with Hound Dower, you have to find an air balloon. So I, I kind of like playing the four Tyranitar, but we, I think we need to cut a Tyranitar. I did kind of forget to put a Mew in the deck. We probably should play a Mew. Um, yeah, I don't know. We could play a fourth Capture and G, but I kind of like the basic darts in the deck too, because it lets you use like Crobat and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess it's fine how it is. Maybe play another Tower of Darkness. We don't play that many single strike cards to discard. I don't know. I, I think the list is fine. I think we definitely maybe need a Mew though, but that'll be it for the video guys on the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to check out my Patreon down below, uh, once again, you can check it out. It's only $2 a month and you guys get access to exclusive uh, videos and content um, that isn't going to go on the main channel. And it's another way to support the channel if you so please. Um, thanks for watching. Check out my Twitter, my Twitch, all that stuff. Socials down below. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. Bye-bye.